Hey you guys, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I pre-poo my hair with this aloe vera plant that I got in Brussels, Matongi. Benefits of using the aloe vera plant is that the aloe vera plant is an all-natural moisturizer and a great conditioner for smooth and shiny curls. It promotes hair growth and is also a hair growth treatment, prevents scalp itching and minimizes dandruff. Now you're gonna need a couple of hair oils. I like to use my Dabur Amla hair oil or you can definitely use some olive oil, my jojoba oil, but you can also definitely use almond oil, like oils that really promote hair growth and is good for your scalp. And I'm gonna also use my castor oil, but you can also mix this with Jamaican black castor oil. Now I'm gonna use my applicator bottle for the mixture and store the rest of my mixtures in my jar. So I'm gonna take my knife and cut it into slices. You can see it's very clear and really jelly, but it really has a weird scent to it. It doesn't smell bad or something like that, but it has that weird scent. So I'm gonna go on and cut it into two or three slices. I think I'm gonna go for three slices. So you have those sharp ends. You wanna cut it as fast as possible because you don't wanna waste that gel, okay? So as you can see, I'm slicing the gel from the leaf into my blender and later on I'll be mixing it up with my oils. But just make sure you don't throw away the leaf because there are some gels still on the leaf and I want to apply that later on my scalp so definitely don't throw that one away. I'm gonna add my Dabur Amla hair oil into my blender and like I mentioned before you can definitely switch up your oils that you prefer to use instead of the oils that I'm using but definitely do your research before you add in oils that are gonna mess up your hair I'm just saying So I went ahead and mixed it all up and it's kind of runny, it kind of looks runny but I like it that way so I'm just going to go ahead and put it into my applicator bottle and give it a good shake. You're going to notice that my hair is in sections. Why? Because I like working into sections and it's much more easier to work in sections. Now I already went ahead and washed my hair, not with shampoo or anything like that, I just went ahead and wet it and put my shower cap on top of it. So I'm just going to leave my shower cap on. Why? Because um the heat opens up the hair critical and allow the moisture to go into the hair strands for me personally my hair is more moisturized when i use a shower cup on than not using one so i'm just gonna he go ahead and um, put the product onto my hair and be gentle with my hair because as you know i just wet my hair i didn't um, detangle it or anything like that and go in with my hands very gently section per section and make sure that the product is in each section the shrinkage is real you guys it kind of looks short right now but is the shrinkage the struggle is real like wow <laughs>
I hope you haven't thrown away the aloe vera leaves because you'll be needing this one right now for your scalp and for your hair ends and the surface of the aloe vera leaf will feel kind of dry after you use it but make sure you just don't throw it away but you just use your fingernails of your fingers to pierce it through because believe me there's loads of gel stuck on that thing so you just make sure you go in on your edges on your scalp and especially on your hair ends There are different ways of using the aloe vera plant. You can use it as a pre-poo, as a conditioner, as a styler, and as a detangling treatment. And like I mentioned before, you can also use it as a hair growth treatment. Now, I try to apply this technique every time before I shampoo my hair, if I have that extra time. But like I said in my previous video, pre-pooing is not necessary, but it helps give you that extra moisture, that extra shine, and that extra hair care that you kind of really need. So I let it sit in for two hours or you can definitely let it sit in for 45 minutes to one hour and sometimes I just sleep with it and wash my hair the next day. No. So after shampooing, you just want to rinse out your hair and go in section per section just to check if you don't have no leftovers of the aloe vera gel. If so, just rinse it out and then afterwards style it as you usual do with your LCO method or LOC method. And that's about it, you guys. That's how I do my pre-poo. I hope it helped you in some type of way. If it did, thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.